So Jason, what's your biggest challenge when it comes to making kidney-friendly meals? Well, I live by myself and uh, I'm not the best cook. On dialysis days, I'm usually so tired when I get home, I just want to heat something up for a quick dinner. That's understandable. Mm. Let's look at some canned foods and some frozen meals. Let's start with soup. Do you have a favorite? I usually just get chicken noodle soup. Okay. Let's look at two cans of chicken noodle soup. This one is regular mm -hmm. and this one is reduced sodium. The regular has 650 milligrams of salt. How about yours? This one has 480 milligrams. Is that okay? Well, less salt doesn't always mean low salt, but it's a better choice. I notice it has 400 milligrams of potassium. Good eye. Some low sodium foods add potassium chloride to keep that salty taste. If it's added, it has to be included on the nutrition facts. That's good to know. So I should watch out for added potassium on foods that say they are reduced in sodium. You could also try making your own soups. Start with a no salt added broth, like this chicken broth with no added salt, or beef or vegetable broth if you want to keep it vegetarian. Then just add vegetables, meat, or any other ingredients you like. I think I'll make a big batch of soup on my next day off. I'll put some in the freezer for when I'm too tired to cook. That's a great idea. Are there any frozen meals I can buy? There are a couple of things to watch out for when you're buying frozen meals. Some of them can be pretty salty. Let's take a look at these. Mine has 270 milligrams of sodium. This doesn't sound too bad, right? Well, it's better than this one. It has 810 milligrams. Maybe yours is lower because it has a salt substitute. Oh yeah, there it is. Potassium chloride. I guess I shouldn't buy this then. It depends on your blood potassium levels. Ask your dietitian to help you decide. Many frozen meals have seasoned chicken, beef or shrimp. You might think that just means they've added salt, but there can be more. Check the ingredient list to see if the seasoning includes phosphate additives. Let's take a look. Uh, this has sodium phosphate. <laughs> I don't see it on mine. So, you've noticed that some of these meals have potassium additives and some have added phosphorus. Every kidney diet is different, so it's best to talk to your dietitian and find out what's right for you.